Hi, everybody. So in this question, we're looking at coupled differential equations. So we're told that a scientist is studying the effect of introducing a population of white clawed crayfish into a population of signal crayfish. At time t years, the number of white clawed crayfish w and the number of signal crayfish s are modelled by these differential equations. We've been asked to show in this second order differential equation here. So because we're looking at d squared w over dt squared, we need to differentiate this equation with respect to t. And to differentiate this with respect to t, I'm going to use a product rule with this right hand side. So if we say that u will equal 5 over 2, and du by dt will be 0, because this is just a constant, v will be the w minus s. So dv by dt will be dw by dt minus ds by dt. Now we can differentiate this. We get d squared w over dt squared will be the u term multiplied by the dv term. So dw over dt minus ds over dt. And then we can expand this out. Okay, so now we need ds by dt in terms of w. And we have that here. So we can substitute this into our equation. So now all we need to do is expand out these brackets. And when you multiply by 5 over 2 by 2 fifths, this becomes 1. And this is minus w. And this term times this term will give us positive 225 e to the negative t. So now we'll multiply everything by this 2. And then we'll move a 5dw by dt and a negative 2w to the right hand side. And that will give us what we have here. Okay, so that's part A. Part B, find the general solution for the number of white clawed crayfish at time t years. So we need to solve this differential equation. So we'll find the auxiliary equation using the right hand side. This will give us 2m squared minus 5m plus 2 equals 0. We can solve this equation. So we get m equals 2 and m equals 1 half. So the complementary function will be w is equal to a e to the 2t plus b e to the 1 half t. But because of this 450 e to the negative t, this is a non-homogeneous differential equation. So we need to find a particular integral. And because e to the negative t isn't repeated in our complementary function, we can say let w equals lambda e to the negative t. And then we need to work out dw by dt, which will be negative lambda e to the negative t, and then d squared w over dt squared, which again, pulling this negative down, will be e to the negative t. And then we substitute each of these back into our differential equation here. So we'll substitute this into here. We'll substitute this term into here. And the w term into here. And this will equal 450e to the negative t. Then we can tidy up this left hand side. We'll divide 3 by e to the negative t. So 9 lambda will equal 450. So lambda must equal 50. So our general solution then will be that w is equal to the complementary function given here plus our particular integral when this is 50. Okay. So now we have the function for w. Let's move on to part c. So now we've been asked to find the general solution for the number of signal crayfish at time t years. 
So if we go back to our coupled equations, we have W. We can differentiate this with respect to T to get DW by DT. Then we can substitute them both into this equation and rearrange for S. So we need to differentiate our equation for W. So now we have DW by DT and W. We'll substitute them both into here. So we've got DW by DT will equal 5 over 2 lots of W minus the S. Then we'll move this 2 to the left hand side and we'll multiply out the 5 on the right hand side. And then to make this S the subject, we'll move this over to the left hand side to make it positive and we'll move all of these terms over to the right hand side and collect the like terms. And now we just need to divide both sides by 5 to cancel this out. And this will give us our equation for S. If we look at part D, the model predicts that at time T years, the population of a white clawed crayfish will have died out. And we're given that W will equal 65, S will equal 85, when T equals 0. And then we need to use this to find the value of T. So what we need to do is substitute this value of W into here, this value of S into here, and then put T equals zero into both of these equations. Then we'll get a pair of simultaneous equations, which we can solve for A and B. So we'll substitute 65 in place of W. So when W equals 65 and T equals zero, we get this. And then we can move this 50 to the left-hand side. So 15 is equal to A plus B. Now we'll substitute the 85 into S and again make T equal 0. So we get this and then we'll move this 70 over to the left hand side. So now we can solve these equations simultaneously and we'll get A is equal to negative 5 and B is equal to 20. Then all we need to do is substitute each of these values into W here. Yeah. Then we're told in the question now the model predicts the population will have died out and this means that w will equal zero so we can solve this equation when w equals zero the problem we have now is this e to a negative t which we need to change if we multiply everything by e to a positive t then we'll add these two powers together it'll become e to the zero which will leave us with just 50. So we'll multiply everything by e to the t. And now can you see that we have a quadratic where this power is double this power. So if we let y or any variable equal e to the 3 over 2t, we can rewrite this as 0 equals negative 5y squared plus 20y plus 50. And then we can solve this using our calculators. And we know it can't be this value of y because this cannot be negative. So we'll eliminate this solution. So 5.742 will be equal to e to the 3 over 2t. Then we can solve this equation by taking the natural log of both sides. We know the natural log and e will cancel. So then we can divide both sides by 1.5. So we get this which works out as 1.165 years. Okay, so finally for part A, suggest a limitation of a model. We can say that the model is only valid when T is between zero and 1.165 years, as the white clawed crab die out when T is greater than 1.165, okay? Well, thank you for watching. If you did find that helpful, you can download a lesson on coupled differential equations from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.